I have found um, in the last several years that getting involved with nature um, enables one to just forget about everything else that's going on in your life at the moment. And in my particular case, uh, I found that when you're doing uh, bird watching, that it requires that concentration. It requires the attention. It requires studying and using your brain. And, you know, and, and uh, if you're going to do it and you enjoy it, you will stay in the moment. And that's why I enjoy sharing that, that experience. It's so, been so beneficial to me that I like to share that experience with other people. Some don't take to it, but many do. Many are very surprised how they get um, enthralled with this and the beauties of nature and, and not just seeing identifying the bird, but learning beyond that. So here was an opportunity to see some of the valley by going up on a tower. And, uh, and, and we locked out and it was a beautiful day. Uh, it's too bad that we didn't see more hawks, but that's okay. You know, it was getting there and doing it was part of the thing. And uh, I was fortunate enough to have one of the best birders in Massachusetts with us. And so he saw a lot more than I would see. <laughs> So it's, it's very enjoyable for me to share that. I, I'm sure some people went away and just enjoyed the view, which is fine. You won't get a better view of the valley, I don't think. Others may have been captured a little bit on the imagination on, on the potentials of, of birding and getting involved with nature. That's why I enjoy it. But certainly, I don't think anybody went around, went away from there without having some, some uh, good feeling and, and good experience. But I think I had something to offer other people in the fact that I didn't let it destroy my life. And I already have had five years of a very active, fulfilling life and continue to, to lead an active, fulfilling life. I think I can be an example for others um, as opposed to having to lean on anybody for particular support. Um, I did mention at one point that I came to term with many of these issues, obviously involving death, uh, when I was considerably younger through other reasons um, uh, other than disease. And uh, the personal philosophy that I have and, and the spirituality approach to life, I think, um, has enabled me so far, qualified so far, <laughs> to deal with the issue. Uh, Again, not letting it interfere with, with my life. I like to think I can be an example to others. One thing that is perhaps a blessing about a diagnosis of, of uh, serious nature, uh, I think if, if, you're not, if you're not letting it overwhelm you and become very, very frightened, uh, you tend to concentrate uh, many good times and associate with many good people very quickly. And that's exactly what's happened. Um, besides, besides the programs here, I've taken voluntarily, obviously, other courses at the various colleges and universities in the area. And I mentioned before, you know, uh, the physical activity, which I just love to do, and studying and getting involved in nature activities. And the quality of people in my life is very high. On a personal note, I have two granddaughters that I'm very attracted to, <laughs> and uh, um, other friends, uh, including a, a lady that's in my life who uh, is a nurse, and she uh, fully understands the situation, and if anything, it's uh, made us come to terms with other involved emotional issues. So um, these are the kind of people that I like to associate with. Regardless of whether you have cancer or not, life tends to be short, and I intend to live every day to the fullest. I did that before, and I continue to do it uh, even after my cancer operations and the medical problems that, I've, that I face. 
Staying positive, I think, helps you deal with everything. It lets you enjoy life.